every time I get an idea, I write it down on a small piece of paper. After I act on it, I put it on one of these things you see in Chinese restaurants. The obsession fills, fills the air and allows for me to um, appreciate all the resonant implications of the subject that I hadn't before. You know, it's part of giving something a, a sort of weight that it explodes in many directions, which, which is what I want. The other, on the other hand, there's the question of need. It has to be a subject or a relationship to a subject that something inside of me is itching to do. There's some part of my psychology and emotional life that knows that I'm better to t I'm, I'll be better to take this journey. It's hard for me. Um, even with the sweetest sound, I try to make a film about names without being so personal. Because my thought was, the re a really the great film about names should include 10,000 names. The more names, the better. And in a way, you know, the people who told me the truth about what I thought I was doing said, that's the wrong way to think about it. If you want to make a, f a deep film about names and get to the place where the real place where names live, in psychology, in our emotions, in our egos, you know, and, and really crack open the place where names live. You don't need 10,000 names. You can do it just with one name if you do it right. Berliner. B-E-R-L-I-N-E-R. -E Berliner, 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 Berliner. There's something about the pressure applying the pressure of a personal approach that allows for that depth and allows for a kind of truth. And for me, editing is the joy of filmmaking. Um, I don't even think of my films as being edited so much as I think of them as being invented because editing is where I make discoveries. My films don't fit together um, from a priori ideas and a priori um, constructs, I very much, I almost start with a blank canvas and I put something down and then see how things fit around it and then every day I question what I do. Every day, over and over and over again. There are so many uh, images in Wide Awake I had no idea that they would be in the film when I first started. Um, but suddenly, you know, an, an image of a submarine going underwater. Aha, uh -huh. submerging. It's like entering dreams. I've never um, made a film where I've cut picture and then put sound to it. Nor, have I, nor have, I, have I ever made a film in which I have a soundtrack and I cut picture to it. I get ideas for montages based on a sound or the, or a, uh, the structure of a piece of, of a structure of a piece of sound or a sound effect or some, you know, some text, something. But it's always back and forth, not, you know, adding to. I like to think that when you listen um, to the soundtrack of one of my films, you'll see that the sound is elevated to a primary level and you'll realize that you're listening almost as much or with the same, you're listening with the same intensity that you're watching. This research is before the film, but it's also overlaps with the film. But at a certain point, I have to let go. You have to let go because I'm not making, you know, an informational film about sleep or names. I'm trying to make um, a lyrical film. I'm trying to make a film that that has is personal, and that takes a lot of that that boils all the things that I know into some kind of real experience. But at the same time, because I'm the so-called producer and director and editor, you know, and I shoot some of the films and I'm my own intern and my own apprentice and 
all, all these things, um, I'm always taking in new information all the time. So there's a lot of parallel. Um, I kind of get lost, really, in all the different roles. Do you know what was in a script? No? Never. Never wrote a script in my life. I'm thinking about the subject of memory. You know, it's a big subject. I'm trying to think how to make it personal and how to, how to do it, again, outside of the science. But, um, and also thinking about home movies a lot and how they function as tools of memory. And um, somewhere in there, but memory, which is a theme of all my films, um, I'm wondering if there's a way to bring that into the center, into the present. But I haven't figured it out yet, but that's where I'm going.